Okay, this is going to be a short video on how to increase the size of your tool. Z. Sorry for the play on words, but I know it was really bad. <clears throat> this is going to be a puller. Not a puller, but my installer for a harmonic balancer. I've got one built for a Chevy over here. It's not pretty, but it absolutely does a job at a fraction of the cost of going and buying one from a tool truck or ordering one online or something to that extent. Either way, let me get started. I'm going to tack it. There's four spots here to keep this from rocking around. Then we're going to weld it, and then I will explain the rest. Be right back. We're going to get started here. Let me snug this up so we've got a good ground. Get everything lined up. This is the original crank bolt, which is the same as that which cost me $3.59 at the hardware store. Pretty cheap. Compared to the 15 or so dollars that you're gonna be paying if you go buy this tool. Time to weld it all up. As I said, I'm not looking for purdy. I just want this thing to be welded together to where it's not going to come apart. And I'm pretty sure that the thing came undone a little bit. But I'm not going to worry about that. This fits the Chevy. I can't see if you're, I'm in frame or not, but I'm guessing I am. It was a bit nicer weld. This is a piece of all thread. This here. This is a harmonic balancer bolt or washer. Half inch nut, half inch piece of all thread. And this, of all things, is the bearing off of a Ford 9N tractor. It's the lower kingpin bearing. Put this side to the this side to the harmonic balancer. This side goes to the tool. And then as it goes down, this turns. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and you thread that into there, and you're done. Hopefully you can see. That's at least semi-straight. This one wasn't even semi-straight, but it still works. I've installed at least five harmonic balancers with that tool. And the nice thing about it is that if you have a problem, 
See, there's still a little bit of a nut up here. I'll grind a little bit of that off. So it leaves a half inch nut up here. So you reach in there with a the socket, pull it out. What I want to tell you is when you install this, when you go to put it in and actually use it, you don't want to run it in and jam it. You just want to run it in. If this was the face of the harmonic the crank, you want to thread it in to where it basically kind of stops, but you don't want to jam it in. Maybe back it out about half a turn, two turns. That way it's always loose. You're never, even if you break this, this bolt will not be stuck in the end of the crank. It will come out easy, you know, just by reaching in there with a pair of pliers or whatever. But I don't think it's going to break. I don't think it's going to have any problems at all. Yeah, you can see it's got a little wobble to it. But it ain't bad. And now I have two different ones. Chevy. And this is a Ford 4.2. Which is what this is. Even the same length about. And I'll thread it into probably right about there. Into the crank. Because the crank is threaded almost all the way to the end. So it's not like it has to reach way in before it hits threads. So it should be pretty straightforward and simple. Hopefully you can increase your tool size by adding another tool to your list of stuff by making something like this. Yep. Washer, nut, bearing. These are even round bearings, ball bearings, but it was made to hold the weight of a tractor. I hope to tell you, installing a harmonic balancer is not putting as much force as that tractor was on them front wheels front end. So that's my video. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell five, twelve, tell a thousand. Whatever you want to do, be happy, enjoy life, and try not to watch the news too much. It's just depressing. Y'all be good. Have a great day. Have a wonderful life. Bye.